welcome backstage now with Marisol Malaret of Puerto Rico, Miss Universe of 1970, and certainly one of the most beautiful girls I've ever met. Marisol, I think our viewers might like to know what's happened in your life in the last two years since you were Miss Universe. Oh, my God. Well, when it was over, I went to Australia to do some modeling. Then afterwards, a group of people bought a franchise from Barbies and Modeling School. We opened a new one here in Puerto Rico, in which I'm the vice president. I work as a grooming consultant for one of the e e airlines here in town. <laughs> and I do TV commercials. Been doing a lot. You're a busy girl, but now you've left out one very important thing involving a young man. Ah, uh, well, yes, that's right. I got engaged right the night I gave my crown away. Uh, and it was really great. I just didn't even know what to say. Well, you said yes. Well, you yes, said right, I said yes. Now, what did being Miss Universe mean to you personally, Marisol? Well, it meant a lot, especially to represent my country and to be able to express my ideals of what a woman is. And it's really a great thing in Latin countries. Well, this certainly meant a great deal to Puerto Rico, didn't it? It didn't mean a lot, because especially when I went to Australia, a lot of people didn't know where Puerto Rico was. They even asked me if we had newspapers, clothes, magazines. It was unbelievable. It's so. a very modern island. What did you spend your $10,000 award on? Well, I didn't spend it on a lot of trivial things. I have a family to support, my brother, my aunt. Uh, my brother is crippled, so we got a lady, and we have an adopted sister, and that's quite a lot. Well, you spent it very wisely. Your life has gone beautifully thus far. I hope it is always thus. Thank you, Bob. Good luck, Marisol. Thank you, Bob.